This is rads and CPM, ladies and gentlemen, in the ocean. A lot of dead seals, 600 something, or 606 seals at the, the, the west coast. Uh, they usually nurse like 100, and it's we're only three months into the year right now, 2013. And uh, there's 600 seals that are sick. And they're nothing but bones. Skin and bone, so they're getting sick. They're smart enough not to eat the bad fish, and then uh, they're not really getting nothing that they can eat, so they're starving. They sense what's wrong, uh, so there's there's problems. Realize how far it's getting out here on the in the in watch your dates and time. I'm gonna freeze it here. Make everybody realize that this is. Get that out of the way so you can see that. So be aware. And then realize that you can even see the path of this, what it's going to be. It's going to keep on. You can see the ocean floor, how deep it is, and it's going to keep on. You can see that right there. It's going to keep on coming. Uh, let me, I'll actually go to world, I'll just go to earthquakes and, and I'll show you uh, this radioactivity, how where it's going to end up more than likely being. Do you see the progression here and everything? So, this is uh, cesium, all kinds of radioactive poison coming from Puka Fudge up. And then, so this is behind too. Remember, this is only March so of 2012. So, you can factually actually know that the idea that you could, wherever it ends up here, you can stretch that out a little bit because that's March of 2012. And this is the freshest one we can get. And I think I've showed this before, but just realize that it, it, you know, it's probably stretched. We'll get the actual map for play and then I'll freeze it. And then uh, I'll go to the earthquake map and make you realize that alley of, and we'll probably go to RSOE too and make you realize we'll get up to, then I'll freeze this map and the cursor will go away down there and factually that you know it could be extended this far now possibly okay and because it that this is way back in march of 2012 so and then more than likely how far has it stretched in here onto hawaiian waters too so anyway this is just actual factual so uh it's good to be conservative if you're fishing. If you go over to Hawaii, the fishing will still be good, but I would just go ahead and, uh, you know, catch and release, catch and release. Catch and release has been popular just to save some fish. Uh, and this, to then, I guess, catch and release to save yourself now. So just be smart. So that's 2012. So we'll go ahead and see what it could be, could, could be stretched out to. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, let it play itself out here again. And then don't think that anything light color is safe or something like that. Anything that it's getting a vein to out there is not good. It's dangerous. And I'm not going to take time to edit that out. I don't know what the heck they've got in on that there. And leave that locked at that and we'll come back to this. So I'm not going to say any names of any map makers and stuff like that, but what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on what the flow is and where it possibly is now. And we're going to, I wasn't wanting to be here at all, but I have to zoom in and we'll stretch out and I'll cruise out over to the ocean. So and then I'll minus down a little bit too. To get us where we need to be at to see this flow here of where this is a alley that this is going to be coming in and I go up a little bit and this is this alley that this stuff is probably going to keep on flowing in on and then ie you can tell a little bit more by going a little bit out that this is where this alley coming up through here from Fuka Fudge up 
all that radioactive material, which is basically death, invisible death. Okay, cancerous to you, take years off your life. It's going to be keep flowing because it's going to eventually, just like the debris, is going to hit our coast. So it's coming along this alley that you can see there. That what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, pick this up. And you can see that alley that they're going that it's going through. And it's going to end up, as you see here, traveling along that alley. It's going to end up coming in on our coast. I didn't remember this is the March 2012 there. So as I get down inside here, boom, we'll pop you back over to RSOE. Basically the same kind of map that can see you can see the ocean floor. And what that's going to do is that's going to keep flowing. You can compare it and look at any of your own maps too, and it's going to keep on flowing, and it's going to come right in this alleyway right here. So the whole coast. All this fishery and everything like that, and then the way it spreads out, it'll keep fusing out and fusing and spreading out. As you can see here, as it's done over time, it's going to do the same thing. We'll drag this back. The satellites have caught this, and then of recent, they don't want to let you uh, have any fresh. It's going to keep spreading not going to stop and it's not even sealed off they're still using the ocean water to cool that stuff so they can't get enough water so it's going to keep coming along this path as you can see it's it's going to be in this lower as you can see it's it's going to keep growing and it's coming on the path and it might even drop lower you don't know exactly where because they're not letting you see anymore. So, in any of this color is not good. Any of it. There's no safeness. Even this, these lighter colors that's farther out, it's just as bad as. So, be aware. So this is I haven't done a CPM's radiation. That's uh, CPM's counts per minute rads. So. Uh, I guess Hawaii, your uh, native, he says he's natively born there. I guess he lied to you. He lied to us, lied to everybody about that. That you know, we don't really, we really honestly don't believe that he was born there. And then so, then he's tagging and lying to you because he said my home state, yeah, which he lied about because he wasn't really born there. Home state, and then the whole country because this is America right there, and he lied to us. We get it in the air already. We've been getting it in the air for a long time. It's in your snow. It's in your water. It's in your rain. So it's in your air. So they've lied and they took the volume box off of the radnet. So it's going to keep coming. Okay. And the earthquakes are going to keep coming too. So the radioactivity likes that. To It helps the earthquakes actually do that more. So. Yes, radioactivity, earthquakes get spiked up from radioactive connections to radioactive stars out in space. They make these volcanoes flare up, which we have a world record amount. Well, it's happened before in the past, and they figured that's what killed all the dinosaurs off. Okay, earthquakes and volcanoes, volcano activity, and then we're at record levels on volcanoes all over the world and they keep on racking up and getting to a higher level so stay aware volcano activity and it'll probably keep increasing along with the earthquakes that we keep showing you so actual factual radioactivity propagates to radioactivity they're magnets radioactivity loves each other they will always magnetize and cling to each other from out in space to Fuka Fudge up to what's coming out of the radioactive core center of the earth, the volcano, that they all like to propagate together. They cling to each other like magnets. Boom. Radioactive magnetism. Electrostatic radioactive from space. Stars. Radioactive butterfly effect I've been showing you. So it all connects. It's just like the skull and bones. 
elbows connected to the knee, you know, the whatever thing the elbow, the skeleton song, it's all connected. They'll always propagate to each other. Radioactive, radioactive waste from Fukufudge up in the ocean, and also volcanoes, because that radioactivity is in the air too. Static radioactivity.